The seventh meeting of the China-U.S. Strategic and Economic Dialogue has taken place in Washington, D.C. The annual high-level talks provided both sides an opportunity to discuss issues of economic and political interest. One of the major goals is to increase cooperation and communication between the two major powers. We begin with correspondent Nathan King, who's been covering the event for CCTV. He joins us from the U.S. State Department. And Nathan, how important are these annual talks for the two sides? And, and they're really important for a start, the two biggest economies in the world and also the biggest exchange diplomatically uh, by far. This year's Strategic and Economic Dialogue saw 400 Chinese officials come here to the US. It looks like the biggest ever, unprecedented number of uh, ministers as well. 13 ministers from China, 40 vice ministers, of course, uh, the vice, two vice premiers and also the state councillor uh, as well. So uh, very deep as well. And we talk about strategic and economic dialogue, but it's also all points in between. There's something called the people-to-people -people exchange, which is gaining importance where tens of thousands of Chinese come to the U.S., vice versa from the U.S. to China, uh, cooperating on everything from the arts to sciences to the role of women in society. And this... Uh, people to people exchange has been growing as well. Of course, they talk about their differences, but also this is about uh, growing areas of commonality. And remember, when the US and China agree on something and agree to work with each other on something, the rest of the world tends to take notice and sometimes follow. And Nathan, you know, as you point out, these are talks about growing areas of commonality. Have these talks been successful in that regard? You know, uh, you never look at the strategic and economic dialogue for uh, a wish list of uh, successes and, and, uh, and uh, pieces of paper coming out with, with signatures on. What, the actual existence of the strategic economic Chinese dialogue world. is actually a victory it in itself. It's a continuing dialogue where next. people can reach out, form personal relationships and professional relationships with their opposite numbers, whether it be in Beijing or Washington. Now, having said that, what I really want to stress it has been going on here this week is a real celebration of that landmark climate change declaration made in Beijing last November between uh, President Xi Jinping and President Obama. Because, remember, that uh, settled the debate between China and the US, the two biggest emitters, about cutting carbon emissions. China will stop at 2030 increasing uh, carbon emissions. By 2025, the US has pledged to cut uh, carbon emissions by 26% or more. What that does is bring these two biggest emitters and e economies together and tell the rest of the world they are serious about a global climate change carbon reduction treaty, which of course we're all looking forward to at the end of December. So that has been a, a real focal point here. And because they signed that in November, they're already announcing new projects that they've come out with, uh, that they're working together. They're teaming up, for example, Chinese uh, aircraft manufacturers with Boeing to see if airplanes can run on waste oil. They're tracking turtles all around the world to try and keep the environment uh, for that species and many others going. There are so many different projects being announced here, which creates an land momentum for other countries to do the same. Thanks, Nathan. That's CCTV's Nathan King reporting from the U.S. State Department. Thank you.